All right, folks, shit just got real, and it's just getting <clears throat> uglier and uglier as I turn around. Well, as you can see here, I've got the grand all taken apart. Well, most of it. Of course, the trigger mechanism is still in one piece. Uh, the follower, the trigger, gas rod, op rod, gas rod spring, the stock. Got the gas block off, not a problem. What was going to go on right now is, as part of the restoration program, is the serial number on this particular model here is 2,217,000 plus, so which gets it around late 1943-44. So this mechanism doesn't fit. It's post-war, it's probably late 50s, it's not correct. Uh, ran the serial numbers on the back, the um, lot numbers, and it's just not correct. So I went online, found a resource where I can get all period correct trigger assemblies. That's great, number one, resolved. Number two, the op rods, this is a post-war op rod, and what they did is this cut here was to relieve the stress on the op rod. This was done very late in the world because what was happening is they were getting a crack here. To get one without that, you're looking at $275 on average, and I wouldn't get it anyways because, let's face it, that's a stress point. That notch is there now for a reason. The bolt is correct. Everything else, I'm going to get all new parts for it. And then the stock, I came across a company that has a error correct stock. It's a Springfield stock in perfect condition uh, for $285. So already I'm looking at about a $475 to $500 investment to get this gun 100%. Even though it's a 52 dated barrel, and even though the muzzle end of the barrel is screwed up, I'm going to have that taken care of. This is where the shit just gets even uglier than before. Took the wood apart. And if you look, you'll see that, yep, that is a bead of weld. The barrel is welded to the receiver. My heart absolutely sank. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I called this poor dude up, and I'm like freaking the fuck out. I am like totally, this whole thing has been a nightmare from the word go. I called a good buddy of mine who works up at the Wright Museum in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. My buddy Randy. You'll see some of the videos with me and the Persian tank. He's also done some other videos. Very knowledgeable on the Garam. He told me that this weld is a VFW weld. Military donated these firearms to the VFW. And they were made so they were shot single. Or single action only. It wasn't a semi-automatic rifle anymore and they use that for ceremonies like 21 gun salute you'll see them they'll present the firearm they'll fire it bring the gun back down to port arms rack the charging handle put another round in it they go back to a 21 gun salute um the cmp had actually released these weapons many years ago and i've done extensive research and based on what my buddy randy told me um, they're shootable, they're fine, especially it's a very clean weld, it's not huge, it's not gouged up, um, but it's definitely destroyed the whole build of this gun. So I went from a total restoration, $500 restoration, to a cost-effective restoration to get the gun looking somewhat decent. So um, we'll, I'll show you the reassembly of everything as soon as the parts come in.